the only way to make paintings this big was use some sort of medium that was pretty cheap, which was and I found this micro pristine wax. And you buy tons of it and you squirt a bit of paint and then you get some good colour and you stick it on. And that's how it evolved. What's good about it, it goes off in about 25 seconds, something like that. You know what I mean? It goes off, it's going off as you're laying it. So you've got to move very, very fast with it, you know what I mean? Otherwise, you know, you're not going to get anything. And because you've got to move very fast, fast with it, you actually don't think. Because you ain't got time to think. You're not designing. You're just moving it around as, as fast as you possibly can. So therefore, you, you make marks that you wouldn't normally make. And also, I've got to know the wax and how to use it and the different temperatures and when you get soft as butter, we can just trowel it on or you can, you can melt it or you can really burn it, you know what I'm saying? Or you can rip it all off and put it back on again. You know, I, I, because of the burner, the burner's been the last key point of it all because the burner allows me, no matter how much, much wax is on, I can re revitalize it all by, you know, heating the whole surface and ripping it all up, you know? So the burn is actually the last uh, important tool in, in making these type of paintings. I could not foresee this thing happening to you. But it's always adding to the process, finding something around you, some weird thing that can use as a tool, some one thing, a rake or something like that. So I wonder what would happen if I used this. I, mean, I think um, the story of my life would be, I wonder what would happen if I did this.